see how it's dripping that's how you know it's good hi guys so i'm in luero today and i want to show you village life out here luero is a district mainly known for farming here in uganda all the big farmers we most probably have their farmland in luero so uh, this is a pineapple farm it's quite quite big eh? yeah we're getting some pineapples from the garden I'm with a couple of colleagues here. Fresh pineapple. <laughs> it's quite interesting out here. It's just like big, big chunks of farmland. There's a lot of farming going on in this district. So we've been driving like very many miles upon miles upon miles of, of pineapple gardens still driving so we're just going to continue but uh, yeah so come with us and uh, yeah we're still in the pineapple farm stay on the farm like um, jerry cans there's some cooking stones where they cook food uh, this is a house where they live this is village life guys so when you see such a small house you get alarmed eh? <laughs> uh, this is a solar so they are charging their solar meaning they have electricity inside here this is their small home because they live on the farm and of course in Africa we don't use washing machines that much some do like in Kampala but in the village no one uses a washing machine so they wash their clothes and dry them like you see here the sun is very very bright today so we are still walking it's a very very big pineapple farm very very big <laughs> This is still growing. Let me give you a close-up. Look at this. Look at this. These are, these are big pineapples that you always see in Kampala in the market, but then you don't know where they're coming from. <laughs> all, along, all along, they're coming from Luero. This is Luero district. It's like a farmer's district. What happens with pineapple farm, what I've just learned that I didn't know, is that once you plant them initially, you wait for two years to do the first harvest of the pineapple fruit. And then after that, you can harvest for the next eight years. You just keep on taking care of the of the of the pineapples. So you keep on harvesting, and you can keep the farm for like eight years as you just harvesting, harvesting, harvesting. So when you start from one corner of the farm, and you harvest, by the time you get to the other edge of the farm, the ones where you had started, they are like grown already and then you can start harvesting again so it's like some sort of rotation if you guys know like how tea is grown it's the same thing as tea i didn't know that this about pineapples so we just keep harvesting over the years uh, we are still working there are just a few banana plants in there but uh it's basically pineapples pineapple farm one more thing guys look at this big heap eh? These are the pineapple, like the head, the one that you just cut out when you're going to eat the pineapple. So these are used as seedlings. So if a new farmer comes and they want to start a pineapple garden, these guys here are going to sell them. Quite interesting. It's very interesting eh? uh, being a farmer, guys. <laughs> Let me know if you like farming or if you would consider being a farmer. I'll leave a comment. I know most people are very passionate about farming, obviously. And farming is one of those businesses that is always assured. When the world was locked down, everyone was at least looking for food to eat. So if you're a farmer, you always you know, have something to sell because people are always going to eat. There's also a very nice breeze out here. There is a lot of fresh air. Eating pineapples for lunch. Maybe I'll take another small piece. Nange bampe. Ah, sorry. This one is falling down, but... Eh? <laughs> yes, so this gentleman has been giving us pineapples. You can see the juice is just pouring. Eh? Ah, this is one Ah, uh -huh. Yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so Aunt Tuja Tuja, because, yeah, so <laughs> oh, my God, it's really good, eh? very tasty. I think it even tastes better because I'm eating it from the garden. 
and like when I buy it and have to eat it from home. Yeah. So leave a comment guys if you'd come to Vista Pineapple Garden in Uganda. Maybe want to try out these kinds of pineapples. Eh? Show you one more thing that I've been taught. So pineapples, for example, if you take this one and you harvest it, there is another one that is budding right there. I hope you can see it right there, that bud. So once you harvest this one, that one will take nine months, you know, until the next harvest. Or when you harvest this one, the next bud that comes on the side will take nine months until harvest. So that's what I've been told. The pineapple garden can be kept up to 8 to 10 years as they are still harvesting. But during that period, the fruit will, it will start to like win out. I don't know the right English word to use, but it will start to like not produce very fresh, very fresh fruits. Eh? If you've been running it for a very long time. Like, once you have fertilizer, you can easily have a pineapple garden for up to 20 years just harvesting. As long as you take very, very good care of it. Ah, Manang, thank you. More pineapples, guys. Eh? More pineapples you are still eating. I've never eaten as many pineapples in one day, but I think when you come to a pineapple garden, I mean, how do you expect a garden as big as this? The guy has just been feeding us pineapples, so why not? See how it's dripping? That's how you know it's good. So, if you're salivating, I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> you can only get this in Loero, guys. Eh? You can only get this in Loero. When you come all the way to Loero, you better enjoy fresh pineapples from the garden and eat as much as you want. Been walking maybe for the last 40 minutes, it's almost one hour. Health Matoke here, you see, that is someone's home, yeah, humble life, eh? <laughs> yeah. I've been trying to figure out who are the customers of these pineapple farmers, and obviously, as I thought, they will sell to people from Kenya, so I've told me trucks will come all the way from Kenya to these pineapple farmers here put on a full truck and drive away. Obviously, Kampala, all the markets, Nakasero market, Kalere market. If you guys haven't watched those videos on my channel, make sure you watch them. Or food prices in Uganda in the market. Arua, they will sell to them as well. That's northern Uganda. So these pineapples could end up anywhere in East Africa. All those uh, clients, everyone eats pineapples. <laughs> Yeah, actually, if I find a truck along the way, I'll show it to you. Because when we were driving earlier, yeah, we saw very many trucks carrying pineapples along the way. So we've seen this big pineapple. We want to zoom it in. <laughs> yeah, very big. Eh? Look at that. Wow, very big. What do you name on? Elwa. Atendo yeah, and I'm being told this is the second root of harvesting. Eh? Second root, meaning one fruit has been taken off. This is the second fruit. And remember, this garden could run up to 20 years if well taken care of. So, yeah, but uh, what I was telling you guys, they sell to people from everywhere. They are, they are clients, and we saw very many of them along the way, very many trucks carrying pineapples when we were coming this side. Yeah, it's a very very sunny day actually. We've been walking like for almost an hour in this pineapple garden. <laughs> it's very very big, very very big. Also been told that actually, if you don't want to like plant the pineapples, you can just come and buy a garden. 
or lease a garden, you know. If you just want like harvest pineapples, you can come and lease a garden from one of the farmers. Agree on a certain price, you pay them, and you say maybe I'll be here for two seasons, or I'll be here for three seasons, and yeah, so you don't have to do the hard work. Eh? If you don't want to plant the pineapples, wait for two years before you get the first fruit, the first harvest. You just come, look at such a garden, talk to the owner and say, I'm going to give you money at once. Give me your garden and I'll start harvesting. So people do that as well. That's what the gentleman has told us. The lady is taking the clothes. The, the sun is so dry, so they're finished drying up. So village life, they're actually cooking. Let me show you. Yes, yeah, so uh, they use firewood to cook. I really don't know what's inside here. And the owner of the food is not around to be bad manners to check. I feel like checking, but uh, yeah, cooking with firewood. The only disadvantage is that it brings a lot of smoke. Eh? Yeah, it brings a lot of smoke. But this place is very, very open. So even if the smoke comes, you just disappear. Because the place is very, very open here. But this is village life, guys. It's, it's quite nice out here. Eh? If you like village, if your thing is village, I think you'd enjoy living in such an area. Yeah. And of course, there is no electricity. So, as you're thinking of living in the village, remember that there is no electricity. I showed you that guy was charging a solar panel. There is also no tap water, so you'd have to fetch water from maybe the spring or the borehole. Yeah, you don't have the luxury of taps eh, when you're living in a place like this. So, But some people like it, you know. Some people like it. <laughs> Not for me though, you know. I rather stay in Kampala. Finished our pineapple farm tour. <laughs> yeah. I want to show you something. Eh? The main mode of transport here is Boda Boda, obviously. Buddha guy, like look at all these mats. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So a Buddha Buddha can carry nine bunches of matoke. Okay, this is quite interesting. Eh? Eh, village life, guys. Eh? <laughs> nine bunches of matoke on one Buddha Buddha. <laughs> Hope you guys have learned something about uh, pineapples. This was just a tour, really. Yeah, and maybe next time we shall do more. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, give it a like, uh, subscribe, a like, share, uh, leave a comment as well. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. I had to stop to show you this. <laughs> We've paused. I want to show you this goat. Look at these goats. They are grazing. Eh? They look so, so good. White in color. Look at that. <laughs> Guys, I just stopped to show you goats. How beautiful do they look and healthy. They are feeding on the grass. Eh? Interesting. Eh? Village life, guys. Eh? I told you Lowero is full of farmers. Eh? Look how healthy these goats look like. You see that? You see that? Yes, yeah, so <laughs> let's continue. Yeah, just wanted to show you that. So let's continue. Actually, going home right now, it's about 5 p.m. Yeah. yeah. More pineapples. All these are pineapples, guys. Lots, lots of pineapples. Luero.